Thanks for tuning in to KTPS News, your news source for everything going on here in Topeka Public Schools. I'm Dan Garrett. Now, did you know Topeka High used to have a separate basketball team for the Black students? As part of Black History Month, we wanted to give a look back at the history-making team that is part of Topeka Public Schools. KTPS reporter Joy Maduga explains. The Topeka High Ramblers were created in 1935 and had only black cheerleaders and players. Recently, Topeka High held a Hall of Fame ceremony to recognize all those who are now part of history. As we sit and talk today, I don't know how many basketball games I've played. I've never played a basketball game, a basketball game, in a Topeka High School gym. Jack Alexander is now 93 years old and played on the Ramblers in the 1940s and was even the captain the last year of the team. They would play their games at a separate school. Three years that I played, we traveled by bus. We had uniforms. We had cheerleaders. We had, we just had a separate basketball team, even though many of the rest of us played on the football teams and the track teams and what have you at the big high school. Mr. Alexander says, while the basketball team was segregated, the other sports at Topeka High were integrated and black and white students got to play together. He says even though they were separated, he loved playing for the Ramblers. And more than 70 years later, the team members were inducted to the Hall of Fame. Many of the members are no longer living, so their families came in their place. Oh, it was just wonderful. And all the speeches, all the people, the enthusiasm, the diversity, everything was like a dream. The Topeka Ramblers are now honored in Topeka High with a plaque that sits outside the gym. For KTPS, I'm Drew Madoga. This year is the 70th anniversary of the Brown versus Board of Education case that marked the end of segregation in schools. KTPS reporter Ava Rivera explains how the Topeka and Shawnee County Public Library is marking the occasion. The library has a new exhibit to show off the impact that Topeka has on black history. Students at Robinson Middle School had a hand in helping this exhibit come together. Now through May, the Sabatini Gallery at the Topeka Shawnee County Library has changed to slowly. It now features important items that are tied to Topeka's history. A living history is always important uh, in regards to making sure that students see people who are actually doing things, uh, their teachers, be it principals, uh, be it people that they see in their everyday community. They see these people because that act of history provides for them, again, a blueprint to, for them to go out and do an incredible and amazing thing. Robinson Middle School students got to put together skills they are learning in school to help the exhibit come together. They wrote research papers for the library. I wanted to make sure that they understood the whole process of actually how you do the research, how you, again, first of all, start finding a, a topic, how you do the research, and then how you write. The papers the students wrote are featured in the exhibit and are on display now. The exhibit now is going on to May 19th. For KTBS News, I'm David Rivera. The Chiefs won back-to-back -back Super Bowls, and the Topeka Public Schools staff and students cheered them on every step of the way. Students in Topeka Public Schools got the chance to learn a little bit about the real world with a local business. KTPS reporter Kaylin Blake explains. Advisors Excel invited high school students in our area to participate in their real world event. The students got to follow along with workers at Advisors Excel. They learned not only about the jobs, but also how students can achieve their true potential, no matter what career path they choose. Sierra Jackson participated in the event when she went to Topeka West. Now she gets to teach other students about her experience. Um, I think it had a lot of um, 
it gave me a lot of meaning and kind of understanding of where you can go as far as a career path and how you can kind of navigate that after school. Um, I also still have like my notebook from real world when I was here. So what, coming back here, it was really nostalgic to kind of go through my notes and see a lot of the same stuff that I apply in my career. More than 50 Topeka Public School students participated in the event this year. From KTPS News, I'm Kaylin Blank. Students at Robinson Middle School recognize the heroes in their community in a special way. KTPS reporter Adrian Romero explains. Students handpick people in their community whose stories deserve to be shared. And as a part of Black History Month, they wanted to give a special shout out at their school. More than 10 people from the Topeka community gathered in front of students. Each adult was paired with a student who learned about their story and presented it to the school. It's like you can actually, you know, say thank you to them for making changes and you know like you can't do that to the people in the past oh most of them are gone now but like yeah now you can thank thank the people who are alive and was making changes the students took portraits to be printed for the show after the introductions the students performed with songs and a dance for ktps news i'm adrian romero and that will do it for our show this evening don't forget spring break is march 11th through the 15th and we hope everyone has a safe and happy time off and we hope you enjoyed tonight's broadcast.